Alright guys, here's another video. This one is for my good friend and my buddy, my pal, the comic book is steep. Um, I have a little contraption here. I need to buy more labels for it. I know, I ran out again. But this is it. That's what it looks like. It's very cool. I got it from Target. I don't think I paid more than 20 bucks for it. Um, and actually, last night I worked, um, I had inventory at my store. And we actually carry this in a grocery store. It's just a plastic little label maker. It's got a little, it's very cool. It's very neat. Um, like I said, I print out all my labels for my boxes, for my dividers. My wife uses it for, you know, organizing. She's got Tupperware tubs full of stuff, and she's used it. She loves it. She puts labels on everything. My daughter uses it. Um, it's very cool. You can print big letters, you know, like thick, or you can print smaller, thinner letters. Um, the thicker letters, it you need to, you know, it won't, you can't, the line won't be as big. Um, you got to make two separate lines. But it's fine for me because I don't put the in front of it like the X-Men. I just put X-Men. And if it's Volume 1, I just put X-Men 1, X-Men 2. Uh, so, comic book of Steve, go look for it. I'm sure you can probably find it at Target, at Walmart. Like I said, we sell it at my grocery store in the school supply section. So you can look there. The, the uh, refills just pop right in there. I got bad lighting here. Hold on. Let me turn my lamps down. Here we go. The labels pop right in here. The lid closes. And that's basically how it looks. This little button on the side, once it's done printing, you just click that and it cuts it. And you just pull it off. Um... But it's really, really convenient. If you guys aren't using it or you have, you don't have anything like this, I know some people are using a printer and then printing it and then cutting and taping. To me, that's just a lot of work because the, the labels that fit in here have a sticky side on the back side. So all you do is peel a little piece of paper off and you stick it on your box. Um, like I said, you can use it for anything. It just doesn't have to be for comics. You can use it for whatever labeling whatever you want to label it's good for like kids for like notebooks you know like my daughter does it she'll she's made labels that says you know chemistry and you know algebra um like i said my wife uses it to label her boxes and stuff and i definitely use it for my comics it takes one two three four it takes five double a batteries um what I do is, when I'm not using it, I take the batteries out, because in the past, when I was a kid, remember when you had toys that took batteries and you left them in it and they kind of rusted? So, ever since I was a kid and I ruined toys for keeping batteries in there, now when I have something that's battery operated, I always take them out. I always take them out. It saves it, you know, whatever. But it's very easy to use. It's a great product. Like I said, I bought it, and I think I may have, I picked it up on sale I think I paid less than twenty. I may have only paid fourteen for it. The refillers, at a you know at a grocery store, they're going to be more expensive, of course. I think this was the same exact brand. It's Dynamo. Letra Tag. I, I could swear that this was like twenty three, twenty four dollars at my grocery at, at a grocery store. Well, you know, at a grocery store, everything's going to be more expensive than in like a Walmart or a Target, or maybe even a Walgreens, or you probably could even go to, like, Office Depot and get something similar. They had one that was flat. You know, it looked like a little like a little notebook. But I preferred this. I like this one. It's handy. It fits in my hand good. You know, I could stand there, and I could just punch in what I want, and then I print it, cut it, and I'm ready to go. So this is for you, Comic Book Estate. I know you, I think you, use, you said you use a printer. Go look, go look for this, bud. You probably can find this real, real cheap. Um, I know on tax-free day, it's probably a good time to get it, but it's it's too, a little too late for that. But look it up. It's made by Dynamo. I bought mine at Target. The refills are relatively cheap. They're like five bucks, six bucks. 
And like I said, I labeled all these boxes with one with one uh, refill. And I used the bold lettering, so it took up more space. If you use the thinner lettering, because you have your option, thin, then there's a medium, and then there's a bold. I use the bold because I can look at my boxes here and my vision is not really good. I don't know if you guys noticed in some of my videos I squint. I don't like wearing glasses, so I, I deal with it. But I can see the lettering on the boxes from here. And I'm not blind, but my vision's not 20-20 anymore. A little older now, so my vision's kind of going away. But there it is, Comic Book Estate, just for you, bud. I made a special video just for you, showcasing this. You asked for it. Here it is. Made by Dynamo. It's a label maker, and it's awesome. And uh, look it up. Like I said, less than 20. I think I paid 15. Refills are about 6. And... Double A batteries, you need five of them. Easy to use, you pop them right in. One, two, three, four, five batteries. The labels are easy, you just flip that open, you pop the little cartridge in there, and you close it. Done. That's it. No, no fuss, nothing. Anybody can use it. So, yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, subscribe. Um, if you want to see anything in my collection, if you want to see any video games, because I have tons of video games, if you want to see movie reviews, if you want to see um, action figure reviews, I have hundreds of action figures sealed in packages and out of packages. Mainly Star Wars, um, Marvel Universe, stuff like that. Um, I will have another trade video. This is uh, February 4th or 5th that I'm making this video. Um, I work till 5 on Friday and I'm off Saturday, so I'll stay up all night. I'll make another trade video. I have a bunch of trades going on with some people, uh, Fool Killer, Tom Ryan, Vin Crew. Don't worry, guys. I haven't forgot about you. I've just been busy. My bank account got hacked, so I haven't been able to buy supplies to ship books or whatever. But I will get on top of it this weekend. I will have another trade video. Um, DNA Comics. Let me know. Give me your address, dude. I'll send you some Wolverine books. Because like I said, the Wolverine books I'm going to have up for trade. I have like 15, 16 copies of each one. Like the Wolverines, this one here, this one here, and you're a new collector, and I like helping out young guys that are just starting to collect. Like these Wolverines here, I know you said you were kind of interested in them. Um, like I said, I have like 10 or 15 copies of each, and there's more that I have. These are just a few that I pulled out. But let me know, send me your address, and I'll, I'll put a care package in the mail for you, bud, because I like... I like helping out new collectors because, you know, when I was collecting, I wish somebody did that for me. But, yep, there it is, guys. Thumbs up. This, the Junkie supports Dynamo. So, comic book seat. Thanks for asking. Thanks for inquiring. And I uh, hope you pick one up. You'll love it. Junkie's out.